Hey, what's up? Welcome once again to this tutorial. Today we are going to create awesome slow motion shots, speed up our footage, and freeze frame. That is all about how to revamp the time of your footage in the Premiere Pro. Time remapping is a very fancy word in the world of video editing, where we want to play around with the speed of clip, that is, be fast, then slow, then regular speed. Okay, so first thing is to double click the project on the project panel to import the footage and audio so that it is inside the source panel. And now drag only the video into the sequence. You can zoom in the sequence to make it bigger and our clip more visible. Now in this clip we want to remap the time by increasing the speed slow motion and freezing time to give it a nice look. Firstly, we want to remove the audio. So right click the mouse and unlink the audio from the video clip and remove it by pressing delete key. You must have noticed that in this original clip is already recorded in a little slow motion throughout. So in the first part, we have to increase the speed of the clip to look more professional. Let us increase the speed, say around after 9 seconds. For this, go to 9 seconds by typing in the timeline scale or you can go directly also using the playhead. Now slice the clip using the razor tool. Then right click after selecting the clip and increase the speed duration to 250% by typing. With the increase in the speed, we have noticed that the duration of the clip is also reduced. And now let's check the footage. It seems to be okay as of now. Let's remove the gap and combine the clip once again. In the second step now, we want a slow motion in the remaining clip. So for this, make the speed of the remaining clip to 75%. In the same way that is right click and type the speed duration to 75%. Now let's check our footage once again. This seems to be perfect the way we want it. So now the third step is to freeze frame in the middle to give an awesome camera shot look to our clip. For this we will select the right keyframe by moving frame by frame. This frame seems to be fine. Now to take the picture of this frame, look for the export frame tool here. If you don't find the tool in your screen, press this plus sign and click the export frame tool in the list of tools. Now give any name say camera shot to your picture.
and don't forget to check import into the project checkbox so that it is available in our source project panel. And now we have to slice our clip so that we can bring the still picture frame here. This time again we move the remaining clip and drag the camera shot picture from the source to the sequence. Here we have noticed that the camera shot clip duration should not increase more than 3 seconds to look more professional. For this we can measure and type the exact duration of 3 seconds. So with the help of razor tool, we slice the camera shot to exact 3 seconds. Once this is complete, we again remove the gap by joining the remaining clip. And once again, let's check our progress in the edited clip. Which is exactly right in the direction we wanted. Okay, now the next step is to speed up the last part of our clip as we did in the beginning of the footage. So do the same process that is first select the frame where to increase the speed, slice it using the razor tool and then right click the mouse and increase the speed duration to 250%. Now let's check the final progress of our footage before adding the background music to our video. Great, everything is as good as we want. Now video editing is done, only thing left is to add the background audio. For this we drag the skating background audio which we imported in the beginning to the sequence. Slice it with the razor tool in the end. and remove the extra part so that extra audio is removed and aligned with also to make a space for the camera shutter sound clip slice the audio clip in between just below the freezed frame picture now drag the camera shutter sound clip from the source to the new track of audio in the sequence Slice it to make a duration to 3 seconds and then move it in the original audio track so that it looks more organized and nicely arranged. And for the last time we must check the complete footage. Perfect as of now. Due to time limit, this is just an example how to increase or slow down the motion speed of a clip. You are free to do more decoration in your practice and use many more effects of the Premiere Pro like color correction, scaling, masking, etc. This is all what we have in this tutorial. Thanks for watching. If you like it, Please don't forget to like, subscribe this channel. Goodbye.